Everything seems to be about wellness these days and alcohol has gotten kind of swept into this. There's hard kombucha and you know, fine. But the cocktail we're gonna talk about today can actually save your life if you lived on a boat in the 1800s for four months. I am Robert Port's resident bartender, Jason O'Brien, and this is The Gimlet. So our story begins at a time when the British Navy ruled the globe. The ship technology was fantastic, but for medicine, we're still talking about like leeches and prayer. Like we didn't even know that there was such a thing as a vitamin. And so scurvy, which we all know now is caused by lack of vitamin C, was just decimating the Royal Navy. More British soldiers were lost to scurvy in the 1800s than to actual war. People's teeth were falling out, their gums were all bloody, their skin was jaundiced, and nobody knew what was happening because nobody knew what a vitamin was. 1740, a guy named Admiral Edward Vernon started ordering that lime juice be included in the sailors' rations, and his sailors didn't get scurvy. But the only way to keep lime juice fresh on a ship is to add it to the rum rations. So they got the lime juice in their rum. Problem solved, right? Not so much because the sailors were falling out of the riggings drunk by mid-morning. It would be about a hundred years until a Scot named Lachlan Rose figured out a way how to preserve lime juice without the rum. And he called it Rose's Lime Cordial, which of course is still with us today. So the sailors would drink rum and lime cordial, but rum was kind of a low class drink and it certainly wouldn't do for the officers. For the officers, the only thing that would do is good English gin. So gin and lime cordial is a gimlet. And even though I am not, an officer in the British Royal Navy, obviously. I am going to show you how to make a gimlet today. So, making the gimlet. I'll say up front, you could just do fresh lime juice and simple syrup. And that's really, really good. This is like how you would make a daiquiri with rum. But it lacks the particular piercing intensity that you're kind of going for in a gimlet. So you need to make a lime cordial. This is Rose's lime cordial. This is what it's become. It's now owned by the Coca-Cola company and it's got water and high fructose corn syrup and lime juice concentrate, the particular cocktail of yellow number five and blue number one. And it's a little liquid highlighter and we're not going to use it. Fortunately, it's pretty easy to make your own. And there's a few different ways to do this. Some people, it is important to make it perfectly clear. So some people think a gimlet needs to be water clear and so they make it with water and sugar and citric and malic acid and lime oil, which they then filter out. For me, it is not important that it be perfectly clear. And while that is surprisingly good, it lacks a body that I think that I miss in a lime cordial. Other people, they will do the trick where they'll get sugar to draw out the oils in the lime peels. And so if you get a little vacuum sealer and put it together with sugar and lime peels and vacuum seal it, this is all this liquid in here is all lime oil that it got from the peels. Now, I thought I would like this method best, but this is a little too intense and it reads as heaviness. It kind of weighs the final drink down. So my favorite version that we're gonna make together is one I got from a bartender named Jeffrey Morgenthaler. I like this because I think it makes the best final product and it takes about five minutes and it's really easy. So for this, we're gonna need a blender. So the first thing you do is that you're gonna zest a couple limes. This is called a microplane. They're not expensive and they're very, very useful. So you're gonna grab two medium limes or one really big one and you're going to zest it into the blender. I understand that zesting is kind of annoying, but this makes a great product, I promise. Once we're done with that, we're adding a cup of sugar. Next, add a cup of water. It helps if the water is warm, doesn't have to be, but it'll help it dissolve faster. Next, grab those two limes you just zested and juice them into the blender. And last, the only even kind of difficult part of this is that you have to get some citric acid, which isn't that hard. They sell it in supermarkets in the canning section. And we want one ounce of it. And that's it. Next, you blend on high 
for 30 seconds. Great, now strain and bottle. And now that we've got our cordial, it's time to make a gimlet. Grab a cocktail shaker and we start with 1.25 ounces of our lime cordial. And to this we add gin. Now, out of all the gins I tried here, I tried the fancy expensive ones, my absolute favorite is still Beefeater, even though they reduced the proof from 47 to 44. It provides the infrastructure that I think is just absolutely perfect here. But whatever gin you want to use is going to be great, and whatever gin you do use, use two ounces of it. And that's it. That's all there is to the gimlet. Lime cordial and gin. So now we add ice, and we shake it up. And we're going to fine strain it into a coop. And for a garnish, I like a dehydrated lime wheel floated on top like so. And that is a gimlet. Let's see how we did. Oh. This is so good. I love gimlets. The lime zest makes it so bright and vibrant and piquant and alive. As far as Upper on the Rocks is concerned, so this is an up drink. It's always been an up drink. There's no debate about this. However, if I were inventing this today, I would probably put it on the rocks because gimlets are sharp. The cordial makes it sharp. If it were on the rocks, the ice diluting over time would kind of soften the, the punch of it. If it's up like this, I really would only want to have one of them because it's just too sharp. But if it wasn't sharp, it wouldn't be a gimlet.